Okay, What's any of you molding over here? the way Nick was typing in your fitness chat are actually Oh no, so no, 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 hold on. No, you're literally not. You're I'm bad giving, okay. You're a fucking retard. I don't want to hear Good. anything you have left Nick, to say. Nick, you said sumo deadlifts are the most dynamic lift of deadlift. your lower lip quivering as you speak to me. That is one of the stupidest fucking things I've ever heard, but Okay, it's... so you're lying. There's a post from you from two days ago at 3.30. Oh, no, the I'm threats. Saying, yeah, I did the threats. threats. Yeah. This is the thing, man. What do you mean threats? There was wait, literally- you, Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's, we're gonna, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna establish on the record, okay? Hey, do you like the show? Do you want more armpits? Well, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. Be in my walls for all I care. There's so many uh, DGG gym bros. Hello? Hello, is my mic coming through at all? Yeah. Perfect. So, um, I don't really have too much to say to you, but if we want to continue this um, with you subtweeting about it and all this other bullshit, I'd rather just have a chat with you and Nick at some time in the future. Because this is some dumb bullshit. Nick kind of lost his shit. I don't know why you guys called me fragile when he's um, making some death threats online over keyboard words. I don't know. Death it's just kind of goofy. All Do you guys realize that you watch Destiny, right? Sure. What? Okay. What's Any of you molding over here? the way Nick was typing in your fitness chat are actually Oh, no. So no, 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 no. Hold on. You're, you're mischaracterizing. I'm not upset about what he said. You're but if he he's going to come out, wait, threats. can I? Yeah, no, um, I didn't say that. I'm upset that he came out and called me fragile while making death threats over keyboard words at the same time. Those aren't the same thing. I don't care about death threats. Meme as hard as you want, but don't make yourself a victim. Wait, how is he making himself a victim? Um, he because he's talking mean? about other people being fragile. If, if, he's, if he's the one who's so upset, he's the fragile one. It's not me. Why I never got so mad, mad at any of that. This? You guys realize, like, all of this started because you guys don't think that having longer arms increases your risk of shoulder injury in a bench press, right? That's what well, all yeah, of this started doesn't. from. Well, it well no, all, all sorry, it started was because your husband does. wrote Darius, one of the goofiest programs I've ever seen of all time, and Darius uploaded it asking for help, um, and that kind of got criticized, and then Nick came in with what's some more kind of goofy takes. What's wrong with the program? Yeah, of course, we can run through it. Although it would probably be better if Nick were here, so I'm not attacking him and he's able to defend himself. Sure, I'll ask But him. I guess I can do it twice. Um, I just asked him to come in. He's probably around. Perfect. The DGG Jimbro ringleaders are Rage Pope, Jacko Bajaj, Ironsize, Dort, and Jimberly. Oh, imagine how all of you guys are the same mean girls who are getting up upsetty spaghetti. You guys have a bit so, of a name in I, the DGG wait, um, community. Wait, hold hey? on. Can we can we run this back, actually? If you want to sure. pull up the logs from how this initially went down. I don't know how I got dragged into this. I haven't been mean at all. I don't, um, have, the I don't have the logs. I don't have the logs. I was not following Okay, well, this. go in the oh, desk, God, Destiny I'm Discord. To... How are you doing, Nick? Right. Um, I yeah, so sorry. I... Oh, God, I'm listening to the stream, and... It's definitely... Oh, you're looping. Chat at the same time. Sorry, I'm in a league game, so I'm a little bit... Sorry, I'm in the middle of a team fight and hearing you guys double because I have the stream open and the Discord open. Holy fuck. All right, okay, I'm good. I'm done stemming out. All right, okay, so, what's up? What's going on? Hi, Nick. I don't know what's going on exactly. Um, Nick, I'm not sure if you were getting some bullshit diarrhea from the rest of the channel and you were kind of swinging wildly and managed to connect with me, but I don't know where me being fragile or any of this kind of came from. I was engaging with you pretty good faith. And while you were getting criticisms, rather than engaging and answering questions, you were talking about how you had a better physique than people. And when you got checked on that, you then brought up how your dick was bigger than them. Uh, okay, so um, this is a little bit complicated, right? Because you're just lying a lot. Okay, yep. Basically. Pull the logs then, please. Um, pull the well, logs. so uh, what I said... What no, I, I'm, I'm you... asking now. If you're going to say I'm lying, pull the logs. I mean, you're the one making the accusations, bro. Like, you're saying that I did X, and I'm saying I did not do X, which means that what you're saying is not true, right? That would mean that okay. you're lying. Okay, you're let the me... one making okay. the positive claim. Yeah. So I'm, I'm was about to explain exactly what happened, though. There's the one conversation. Oh no! If, if you want to explain, where... that's fine. I can, I can pull the logs if you're not willing to. That's fine. Oh, okay. Well, me. just how about you just tell me? Why, if, why are you scared of this? I'm literally. 
No. God, this is why you, oh, you, okay. I'm fine with you fragile. playing Holy pulling shit. dogs. Um. Anyway, what I would tell me if you think this is an inaccurate summation. So okay. Jurf or whatever his name is, the well, the one gym bro dude with like the really big arms and the really impressive physique that uh, says he does steroids, but I mean Jeru, sure, I don't yeah. know, I can't remember his name. That guy, yeah. yeah. So he basically he said we were arguing about the program and blah blah blah, Jeru, blah blah, and I say um, I'm taller. He says that my physique sucks or something like that. I think, and that I'm short, or somebody says that I'm short, and then I say to Jeru, yeah, but I'm uh, taller than you laying down, which is is a dick joke. Right. Oh like that's, wait, you're absolutely you're absolutely right. You're catching a ton of shit in there, but you're putting it at the wrong people. If if you want to be upset yeah. about people tossing shit your way and calling you short, that's fine. I never called you short. I didn't do any of that. Wait, we're talking but about some reason, We're talking about Jayru. Okay. Okay. Continue. Right? Okay. So yeah, let's run he that. says that he's he makes fun of my height or something like that, and I go and I say I'm taller than you laying down, which is a joke, right? And okay. it's a penis joke, right? Because it's like if you're laying down with an erection, like all men's heights are the same, except for in the phallus or in your gut, I guess. But we're both pretty <laughs> lean dudes. Um, and then he posts a picture <laughs> of his naked body <laughs> with his dick in a toilet paper roll. And he goes, wrong again. And then I go, bro, you fit in the toilet paper roll? Sub five inch diameter. Nice try. Wait, did he do that? I, okay, I was not there for that. I was yeah, in and out for a lot of this what, day. That's, yeah, that's cool. That's what happened. Um. That was that was how like that little exchange went down. Do you, would you say that that's a super inaccurate summation? Um, I didn't see the toilet paper dick roll, but I'm assuming that just got deleted. Then well, there was two toilet paper dick rolls. He's got yeah, apparently he's got a pretty big dick. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, um, okay, so if you were just responding to that one, that's fair, I guess. Fine. Yeah, that's that was the that was the dick size one. It wasn't. It literally wasn't a physique comparison. Um, I posted the picture because the, he hadn't seen my physique yet. And you guys have been asking various people in, in the fitness sub or have keep asking me to post physique. And I'm pretty sure someone had just done it uh, again recently in there. So I just posted another physique pic, right? So I, I, it was a joke. It was a joke from the start. It, like, it, like, yeah, in, in response to being made fun of for my height, which is fine. People can make fun of my height. It just means I'm going to make fun of your, like, I don't, I don't yeah, know, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. If someone's throwing shit, you throw it back. Yeah, but I just I didn't I do that. I was. didn't bring up your height or any of that. Uh, so the reason, so maybe maybe you did catch shade that you shouldn't have, but uh, and, and it's but it wasn't over that, right? Uh, the first mean thing I said to you, I think, was, "Bro, you're literally too stupid to breed," or something like that, right? Yeah, because you said something wrong and got defensive when I called you out on it. So I mean, you can tell me I'm wrong. I think I'm just objectively yeah, okay. correct Actually, about the exercise. Let's... Okay. Let's go actually to the top. Let's let's okay. go from other side. Okay, let's sure. talk I'll about it wherever you want to. We can have it on let's, every let's every beach and every hold shore. the way through it. Sure, let's go. We, so you you got Darius's program and you kind of started off by you gave him a kind of a goofy program. You put him at RP okay. five at the start without any good progression metrics. He's doing three lifting days a week of four exercises a day, but you have him doing stuff like isolation forearm work and forearm extension, I believe, during that time, which is just goofy overall. Um, um, and why, your, why your justification for this? What, hold well, on, hold on. Extension you, you're work... already jumping to a new point. So yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, why is yeah, forearm like, isolation stuff. goofy overall? Forearm extension work is kind of goofy to begin with in terms of what you get in terms of response. And if you're only doing three sets a week of an upper-lower split, you might only be doing upper body once that week. And that means 25% you're doing one exercise of your f only four that week are on if only four on three high upper body. If I remember is that correctly, correct? if I remember correctly, one exercise of your is, only is, four that is two to one. Uh, upper always okay um i'm not 100 sure I, I, positive about that but i think that's I'm, the case i still think if you're doing three days a week and four exercises a day doing forearm can, extension can we go to the forearm isolation. can we just talk about the forearm extension though like i don't, I don't know yeah, why we're jumping to a new point now so why is forearm extent flexion and extension goofy well flex, flexion you can get some growth in but forearm extension you're um the response you get for your time put into training yeah. is just going to be really, agree. really low. I would agree. It's like it, your, your forearm extensors are s small muscles that respond relatively poorly to hypo hypertrophic stimulus. It's not going to be the best bang for your buck if you want to put on overall mass. I would completely agree with that. Well, and just general in response to your time. I, I don't so think, when you, I think, wait, you, when I think of okay. a twink e boy that your goal is, I don't think of someone with meaty, meaty like lumberjack forearms, do I? Uh, I think of a think guy with slight arms. Meaty jumper lumberjack forearms from uh, flex form flexing extension once a week. Well, at no, moderate. but you, if that's 
25% of his program, that is what's going to grow the fastest. So you wouldn't want to focus on that. Uh, I don't know if it's 25% of his program. but uh, If he's doing point... four exercises and it's one of four. Oh, you mean 25% per day? Yes. But if, it's a, if there's two different upper days, that doesn't mean it's 25% of the program, right? Because it's oh, one okay. out of eight. One and a half percent. Fair. Do you know okay. what is in the program? Yes, I have looked it over before. I don't so have it on hand. Why do you seem to be entirely misremembering what's in the program? Uh, I, I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm not saying I, this to I'm be sorry. a douche Nick, or whatever, Nick, right? I'm really sorry, but I didn't take the time to learn your mediocre program to perfect memory. There's enough stuff wrong with it that I can kind of just go off the cuff. Well, you also don't like have the open progression. The you have a brand new lifter. No, I, I don't have your days memorized, Nick. It's so bad. You, um, you don't, don't have broken progression. Bad, right? Yeah, we of course. I'm, I'm trying, trying to. to say that it was the fl no, you're literally not. You're I'm bad giving, okay. You're a fucking retard. I don't want to hear Good. anything you have left Nick, to say. you said sumo you're deadlifts are the most dynamic lift of deadlifts. I can hear your deadlift. lower lip quivering as you speak to me because you're realizing that oh just God. like Rage Pope, you're stepping with absolutely nothing in the chat. Dude, you're here. such a fragile You do not little know talking oh my about. god you've been whining about this for you threatened three to fight me to the death days. and if that ever happened i'd rip your joke. arm out of the fucking socket I said and it, it, it was in a, Wait, it was a better joke. time when there was duels bro it was a joke if you're gonna what do you, mean it's a joke? If you want to joke about that you, i can't joke about that to, you can i said it you can you can threaten to kill me all you want bro i'm not a cry bully i don't care i'm not fragile i've been on the dude, internet you, for years you're we finished talking frog, to you bro. and you ran upstairs to your wife's stream to cry to her stream about how we shouldn't be allowed to do it and how we're fragile they mean boys on the internet they they hurt my feelings they're so fragile they sh i would kill them i could beat them up i could kill them so bad honey look at me look at me these mean internet boys they beat me all the way up i could kill them I was performing for stream, saying silly memes. Like I. I oh, just, so you're doing up, the? I'm I just pretending. The, yeah. Look at yeah, me. I'm such a retard. I'm just pretending. And then when people call you on it, you say yeah, jokes on them. Joke. I was if just pretending to be retarded. The social cues. Maybe you should go get therapy, right? Maybe you need someone to tell you how to understand social cues. Maybe you should figure out how to take a joke. I don't know how I can be the frail one. Right when you're in Wait, here, you... literally crying to my wife about how you couldn't take the heat. Okay, lying Wait, about I, my I, did, I can take the heat. I didn't no run away. You ran away. How did Nick, you run away? Nick, I literally. You... Sh I'm here. I was Nick, asking you to voice of bad fitness for takes. a whole so many. day. You you're so a many. You just had to. Retard. You had to ban you everyone who disagrees with you on your Discord. You're in Discord, claim. you banned all You're disagreement. So you literally said everyone who disagrees with me Discord, is not allowed to be here. It's so funny. Me. You, you say the dumbest shit of all time. You and your wife are making fun of Sonic for saying that. Okay, 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 okay. I will mute both of you. Stop, stop, stop. This is annoying. Okay? I get it. Both of you are big and strong and masculine. Um, No, I'm small and weak and gay. Yeah. True. Based. Um. Okay. We either need receipts, we need to either have Nick's program up, or this is actually just like, I'm, I'm sorry. Sure. Jack, yeah, okay, I've got it up. I've got it pulled up now. I didn't have it ready at first, but like I've got is, it ready now. Okay, it's just like, it's getting kind of cringe. Uh, sure, yeah, I can agree with that. Because just to be clear, this is all still because you guys didn't like his program for Darius, and you think that he's wrong about lever arms and like length of arms well, I, and bench press that's I, what this started from just to be clear that, that's what it started from yeah that, that is what it started from there's more than that but yes that is what it started from which is cr oh. cringe right this is like the mr girl declaring war on the ddg subreddit because like um he had a kind fight of, yeah, I, yeah. I think people going on a discord and when they're asked hey how do you feel about my program and they say i think this is a pretty shit program and then someone comes in and they um get really defensive about it and then they have to so, run away to i don't i don't know what you mean by defensive after that. so i read through I a lot of the conversation and there was multiple times where he was really calm he made a couple of jokes he sent you guys pictures to explain what was going on like i i don't know what more Can he could we go do for back you guys to watching cooking videos i mean it's pretty simple um, right well, yeah, I no, listen, okay, okay, yeah. program initially right Wait, i'll just i'll just speak to this last thing before know. we get in the logs Oops. yeah if you are a liar, if you disagree with this, right? So I came into the server, was super chill initially, right? Had As was I. I was people. chill until after Can you I went please? off the server. Can I please? Sure. Okay. So I came into the server, 
I was super chill, despite a whole bunch of people shitting on me, including you, right? People said there was all these problems with my program, right? And then I explained why people's problems with my program were not issues. And in fact, adhered specifically to the client's individual purpose, uh, individual personalized needs, right? I lost my lead game, by the way. <laughs> um, and explaining, as an example, why I start out with an RPE5 in like the first yeah. week, right? Because Darius is a beginner lifter. He's not super acclimated to the gym. I don't want him to accrue a whole ton of doms. I want him to take it pretty easy until he's undergone some really, really, really basic initial adaptation because it's really common for beginner lifters to overtrain and overlift in their first like little period, especially when they're lifting with a gym buddy that is more advanced than them because yeah, Darius is, is lifting with Irrelevant, who's more advanced than him in the gym, right? Yeah, this so is I, actually I, one of your goofiest takes you gave. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, if you laugh derisively, that definitely means you're right. So yeah. when you were um, talking about this, you initially said that uh, DOMS is one of the biggest reasons people don't miss their fitness goals. That is one of the stupidest fucking things I've ever heard. People don't, miss their, um, people don't fail to meet their fitness goals because of being a little sore. Being sore is actually often something that really, really helps beginners. Because you know how you have that little light on your computer that starts flashing and you know it's working? When you have that soreness when you first start lifting, it's how you know that you're making progress. And a lot of people wear that like a badge. The reason people fail in long-term fitness goals is because they don't see measurable progress where they're proud of themselves and they see that growth and they start to like the hobby. And for this, you came up with a really goofy RPE5 system, which advanced lifters can't correctly judge RPE5. And your justification for it was, Darius is kind of a lazy piece of shit, so I'm going to give him a shit program for it. So now you're just lying again. Like, I don't, I don't know what to do with this okay. because also, you're such who, a chronic liar. Who did you say liar. that we banned? Okay. You said that we banned a bunch of people in our Discord. Who did we ban? Um, yeah, I have, I have logs right here from Nicotine yesterday at 10.34 p.m. I was cleaning up the streets around to hear these parts. Any heterodoxical gym perspectives will now be subject to warningless timeouts. Any harshing on gains will be treated with utmost contempt. Too many online fit fitness spaces become such as mine isn't becoming another of them. Okay. Hi. Nobody got timed out or banned. Did anyone get banned? Would... I'm sorry. Should I just not take any of your words as fact? Wait. Should I just assume you're lying all the time? Wait, you just cool. you just said that a bunch of people have been banned. But no, I said you're banning everyone who disagrees with you, which is what that message says, is it not? You said I'm no, cleaning up the streets. Any says. heterodoxal processes will now be subject to warningless timeouts. Timeouts aren't banned. So heterodox bro. means disagreement. Okay, stop. Warningless stop, times out. Stop, 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 stop. No, I'm not I'm doing not this. Stopping, I'm, not, I'm just going to mute you if you if you won't stop. Okay. He said timeouts. Timeouts are not bans. Timeouts, you stay in the server. You can still see the server. You just can't type in the server for a little bit. This is how we okay. moderate our server all the time. We use timeouts instead of bans pretty consistently. When I look through the list of DGG fitness members that are at least active and our ban list, just to be clear, there's no overlap at all. So you're just still making shit up. Wait, Again. okay, hold on. So you're right. I was imprecise with the term, but you have effectively banned any speaking of disagreement maybe it's a 10 minute timeout regardless they're not allowed to disagree with you as the effect of the rule no no i mean i, I was asked for i was asked for clarification about it and i and i basically said uh pretty much anything joey swole would disavow it's literally not even like really about uh fitness advice stuff it's more about people who are really shitty in the fitness community. Uh, yeah. So okay, so I right. just, I should just mind read you then is what you're saying. No, I, I no, shouldn't you take should you any of your words. mind read in the just, worst possible faith. You read this and just assumed that we banned people when it says timeouts. And then you came okay. in here with the audacity to say that we've been banning people, which I was kind of worried about. I was like, oh damn, I hope that's not the oh. case. Okay, my, my bad I'm imprecise with ban and time out. The, okay, the, the whole effect of issue, the speech so, is that you're, you're suppressing speech. I'm sorry, I just need That's to be really thing. clear with That's you. That's my point. Maybe it's not banning. Okay, you win. You're not the in point my is you're Hold suppressing on. I don't, speech. I don't, I don't give a fuck what you think about my server. Just to be super clear, I don't care. Wow, you are so no, 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 stop. mad. Get really yes, loud. Yes, Good I job. am mad. Okay, stop with the passive aggression. You're not did a you mean girl. Did you, wait, hold on. Did you forget about how both of us were just screaming for like five minutes, like ten minutes ago? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you guys were literally both yelling. Why so did? Why are you going okay. at the woman so hard? The immediate, the second she I've starts gone to you raise too, her voice, not, slightly, Don't bro. don't try to flip this into sexism. I've been mad at you too. Keep yeah, it. You're I'm... the. I'm the only one getting made fun of for yelling. <laughs> because you escalated out of nowhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it's okay. because you keep literally. Lying. lying. Okay, right. so I read just a quote. Like how, just like this how is, you are literally what, lying. Okay, wait, no. Here, issue, I'm literally I'm lying. Let's say I'm literally lying. Explain it to me. I'm too stupid to understand. You guys are suppressing speech. I was wrong about bans. I'm not asking you about a moderation. Just not you to be suppressing clear. Hold disagreement. On. Stop, stop, stop. I am not stop, talking stop, to you. Stop, yes, stop. stop. I am not talking to you about our choice of moderation in the server. If you don't like how we moderate our server, that's totally okay. It's not the place for you. We are not banning people. You claim that we were just handing out bans for people who disagree with Nick, which isn't what he said. And why are you hanging on to something that all. I backed off of? I said you're right on I'm that. Going why to are you up. driving Don't worry, that buddy. Down. I got more ammo. Rage Pope came okay. on and went out of his way to, again, dishonestly represent what happened. For example, he said Nick was posting near naked photos. He was saying that he was using the F slur. He was saying a whole bunch of shit that literally did not happen to the point that Dion and Destiny laughed Rage Pope off the stream. You guys are just lying about this. Wait, and no, I that, actually I, don't that understand was cringe. Why. I agree. That was cringe. Why are you? Why? OK, cool. Yeah, you're right. That was cringe. So why are you still doing the same thing? Wait, what do you mean? What have I done that's the same? I didn't bring up anything like that. I didn't talk about any of those things. Uh, you brought up Why that, are you I was, that I was about me? You brought up that I was physique comparison, and then when I got BTFO'd, I made it about <laughs> size, even though it was about You've size from so the beginning, right? You've so many of your right? claims. It's like, it's like you're doing like literally exactly the same thing that Rage Pope did, which is coming in with all this heat, having none of the evidence, and then when being confronted with the evidence, having it turn out that it's not really how you described it and simultaneously um accusing me of doing the same thing and being afraid okay. of the screenshots even though i'm just fine i'm literally fine with the screenshots and like uh, d super disingenuously right <laughs> describing uh, the interaction of me pr protecting defending my program defending my work right because like training is literally my livelihood right and i think it's important that personal trainers are giving out quality fitness information. And if you're charging people, which I didn't even charge Darius, but if you're charging people for stuff like uh, routine, like creation, right? It's like, it can't be just some worthless bullshit, right? Which is yeah, why you're I'm right. willing to you're right. It's actually wild people pay you for it. Which is why I'm willing to take the criticisms head on, right? And I'm willing to even interact with you when you keep saying stuff like that uh, about me, right? And me as a practitioner and me as an individual, right? And why I'm willing to stand by my program and explain every single step of the way to you as to okay. why it's intentional and efficacious, right? I'm, I was willing to do it then, I'm willing to do it now, right? The thing is you okay. keep screaming when I'm trying to explain and you just go, yeah, it's really wild that you would do, you would make this, it's such a shit program, you're such an idiot, you're such a loser, which is the same thing that you did in the server initially. Okay, let's bring it back to the program. Also, are, you gonna, are you gonna soapbox or can we bring it back to the program? I'm just so I'm catching everybody up on frame, right? To show right, you need to reframe this so it looks good for you. Okay. No, I'm so I'm I'm shifting frame to show everybody. Yeah, you, you need okay. to reframe it. So new rule. To show everybody new how rule. dishonest you're being. New rule. Right? Well, yeah, because you have hold platform, on. so I'm, I can't I'm, defend I'm, myself. Hold on, new rule. In this conversation, you are not going to make petty, mean girl comments that are undercutting and passive aggressive. Be an adult. Be a grown up. Oh, I'm I'm explicitly mean. aggressive. I haven't been no, passive aggressive at a single point in this conversation. Constantly, you're constantly oh, okay. being passive aggressive. Yeah, like when that. I when I'm saying I don't know why someone would actually pay for that. That's actually explicitly aggressive. I hope you understand the, that. That's not the condescension that I'm talking about. When it's things like oh okay right, that's the condescension, the passive petty shit. Just stop. Just be mean. Oh okay. So why don't we look at Darius's program? Okay. So first of all, the progression thing is a little wacky. Um, using RPE for new lifters is kind of contentious to begin with, especially if they don't have someone with them to meter it. Um, using RPE without having set weight progressions is even a little crazier. This program, you've kind of left them to the wolves. You don't have any set progression method built in other than an RPE and a rep number. And if you do that to a new lifter, they're going to have no clue what's going on for weight progressions over time. Okay, is that that's point one that you want to go over? Do you do you have any thoughts on that? Do you want to talk about that or? Yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely agree? willing to talk about it. I just wanted to make sure that um, we're on the same page. 
Perfect. That, that this is the one thing that you want to deal with first off. Yeah, let's this I think this is a good first start. Okay, cool. Um so uh, when it comes to RPE, yeah, I would generally speaking, uh, I would agree that for a beginner lifter, it's hard to accurately uh, monitor like a specific RPE, uh, which is why I have like a little uh, compass down at the bottom of the routine that ex explains what per RPE is and like a super uh, kind of basic brass tacks way of understanding it. So it says well, RPE colon rate of perceived exertion, how difficult any given, uh, given set should be, usually out of 10. Example, if RPE8, the difficulty should allow for two more reps in the tank. Example, RPE7, three rep, or sorry, uh, three reps, three more reps in the tank, right? So I'm trying to yeah. get him accustomed to RPE using simple language, uh, comparing it to RIR, right? Reps in reserve. Yeah, so right? I'm getting him to think about RPE in terms of IR, RIR because it's good for beginners to learn how to manage RPE over time. I think it's a advantageous skill to develop right i don't agree and i think no. when most people look at an rpe5 right, i don't deal. need you especially a beginner i don't Dot need you to be able to accurately uh perform an rpe5 set right i need you to know five is between one and ten meaning that this should be relatively difficult right and i think i have i think i have wait no weeks. wait did, hold on time out i, I need to jump on this yeah, Did you say sure. RPE five should be relatively difficult? I just want to make sure I heard that correctly. Sorry, of moderate difficulty, like so a five the, out of ten, right? Yeah, RPE five is not a five out of ten. It means you have five reps left in the tank, which is usually feeling like easy weight. You pretty much at RPE five. I don't know if you've learned this yet, but at RPE five, if you're using bar speed tracking, you're not really going to have bar slowdown. So there's you're, you're going to have example. almost no there um, be, there, slowdown there. there. Would have been and a the great issue, example of being the issue with using right. The issue with um, with using RPE with new lifters isn't that they don't understand what RPE means. They know that it means they're only supposed to have one or two t reps left in the tank if it's RPE eight or nine. The issue is a new lifter can't properly judge when they're mid-set how to um, tell what RPE they're accurately at. That's why you yeah. give them a set number of sets or AMRAPs. So they keep hitting it out. And eventually they learn what a proper RP is to judge it. Giving them an R R RP at the beginning is just saying, okay, go do whatever you want, dude. I don't know. But if you give them a set number of reps, they can um, they learn RPE over time. They get just as much value, but they have another metric to track progression more effectively. If you're just giving them RPE, you're throwing them to the wolves. They learn RPE just as well as they're on an AMRAP program. Uh, well, Please, I tell me why I'm wrong. Uh, well, basically because you're begging the question, right? You're, you're throwing in a whole bunch of stuff, right? Like you keep... One doing these. Wait, no. Okay. Marks. Tell me. Tell and me what two. I did. Tell me what I said. That's begging the question. What? What am I loading? Um. Can I just go on with what I was saying? Sure. Okay. So, uh, you you keep uh baking this stuff in, right? Like the man, you're just throwing throwing them to the wolves here, right? And and it's like, how is? Well, no, I, I didn't just bake that, and I explained why. I very explicitly explained why. Do you need me to do that again? So so putting him at a low RPE. So that he doesn't train too hard in specifically the first two weeks, the first six training days, you believe that that would qualify as throwing a new trainee to the wolves. Yes. You're giving him okay. a system he doesn't understand that will not progress him, that's out of his depth to try to just figure it out, dude. When you could give him a system where he would learn the same skills of RPE and have more understanding. And more um, more structure to his program. Okay, so if like, you didn't one of it. the things that you were trying to describe. So you're saying that AMRAP would be would be more structure. So setting no difficulty scheme, saying do Wait, as yeah, many so, as you can until actually, you can't yeah. do anymore. Can I please speak? Right. Well, so no, you just is, well, you wanted to attack that. So let me explain why that makes sense. So this is point. If, one, I'm not right? allowed you're to be passive to aggressive, neither are you. Let me let me explain why. Yes, you you disagree with AMRAP. Let me explain why I agree with AMRAP. I didn't say that AMRAP is bad. What your no, you did. You said you think AMRAP is a good option. That's passive aggressive. That is a textbook passive aggressive. I don't, Stop trying I don't to divert. Know, I don't Let me explain why I think AMRAP is here. good. I think AMRAP is good. I usually, I usually, um, I usually program for a beginner. If I, if this was a, a little bit more orthodox of a routine, like for a lifter who just wanted to get bigger and get good at go gym, right? I would probably have have um have programmed 
12 to 15 AMRAP to form failure or something like that, right? Really common run of the mill shit, right? But I didn't want to do that with Darius specifically. Well, for, I, I but, wouldn't be suggesting AMRAP to form failure every time. What it, are you? Oh, okay. Um, so what, what I'm what specifically it, suggesting many, for it, as many a new reps lifter, as possible. To as many reps as possible, yes. But what you, what you generally do for new beginner programs in this type of situation is you'll give them a set number of reps with their weight when starting out. So you have, say, three sets of 12 reps, and they'll do those, and those will be pretty easy. And their final set will be an AMRAP. And if they can get over those 12 reps, then they can progress. You're giving them a set way to progress week to week, so they're able to build on that and do it. So they so, go like 12 to 13. one question really quickly? This also, let me finish explaining why AMRAP is good, and then I'll happily answer I, any questions. I'm not disagreeing that AMRAP is good. Hold on. Can wait, I no, just, let me, let me can finish I just, explaining wait, wait, wait. Can I, I, can can I, I please finish explaining can I just, it? Can I just clarify sure. something? I Go just ahead. want to make sure we agree. Do we both think AMRAP is good? Yeah, for certain training modalities. Yeah, for certain purposes. Do you as well? Yeah, um, um, can I call you Jacob? Yeah, Cause... of course. Yeah, of course. AMRAP or AMRAP's good for a new beginner, especially for a metering progression. Okay, so we both agree there. What's the actual disagreement? Also, what my the... disagreement is with using RPE without a set weight progression system on a new beginner program, which will often lead them spinning their wheels without having good progression over time in a period where they often, or no, where every new lifter will be seeing massive, massive weight put on week to week and be getting a lot yeah. of long-term momentum in terms of how they feel about themselves and long-term goals. Okay. Nick, what is your response to that? Let's have just the two opposing sides clarified. Uh, Especially since nobody uh, in chat knows what any of these <laughs> hyphens as are. AMRAP means as many reps as possible. It's really common to program uh, AMRAP uh, for beginners, but you'll then tell the beginner something like stay within uh, uh, the range of X and X number of repetitions. So during a like um, a initial training period where you're getting accustomed to the gym, you're going to shoot for... 12 and 15 reps or something like that of any given exercise. Um, but if you go, but like with the knowledge that if you go over 15 or if it was really easy to go over 15, then you're probably doing too little weight. And if you're way under 12, then you're using too much weight. Right. So it's like, um, well, no, you'd never, you'd proper... never ever tell a, you'd never ever have a beginner with a, Oh, that's too much. or That's too little weight. You'd have a very strict thing of, hey, you went two reps over your twelve set goal or twelve rep goal of an AMRAP, so you're gonna add five pounds for your next session, or you hit fifteen instead of twelve. You went three reps over. We're actually gonna add seven and a half pounds for this. You have it very metered out, so their progress isn't just spinning their fucking wheels. Okay, you, you keep just saying these stupid catchphrases like throwing to the wall. Dude, you just got asked the question and then you just started randomly talking about AMRAP okay, sets when you were asked about RPE. The question was about RPE from your own so life and you couldn't asked, answer it. What? She asked what we were talking about. I told them what AMRAP was and then I was explaining some of the, the general understanding of what you, we were no, talking about. No, you just started randomly talking about AMRAPs, my man. Hey, Kyla. Did it yeah. seem like I was just randomly talking about AMRAPs or did it seem like Never mind. I won't even, I won't even bake anything in. Okay. Wait, what? Did I, I just asked. Did it seem like I was just randomly well, talking? What's about that, Carla? What did you ask Nick right before this? Con right at the start of this. Uh, what was his position about uh in response to what you said? Right, and I spoke on RP, if I believe correctly, right? Yes. Okay. And Nick responded talking about AMRAPs. Yeah, so Kyla, do you remember you said the thing about how nobody knows what you guys are talking about? Yes. In the chat? Yes. So do you think... I asked you based... to tell us what AMRAP and RPE was. Oh. Oh, is that what you asked? Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So it, w it wasn't like just crazy that I was talking about AMRAP then? No. Okay. I'm assuming oh. so. It's a, yeah, I'm okay. gonna be clear. It's a well, that's what Jacob is saying, right? He's okay. Well, we've just, investigated like, ourselves and we found like, no guilt. Good job, boys. Okay. Well, um, okay. So that's what I'm is. Jacob is to like keep claiming guilt, and then there's like no guilt, and it's like, oh, he's there. Oh, he's championing eugenics, and then that wasn't happening. Oh, and he's. You I've know, never, he's I haven't said eugenics. You're right. Rage Pope said that. Um, which, if you yeah, want to just disavow, about if you want to disavow everything that Rage Pope said, that's fine. I mean, I, funny, I'm not right? like about the... death threats. I'm, I'm just saying that you were the fragile one, and it's really funny to call someone else fragile and then go talk about fighting someone to the death behind a keyboard. You're okay. That that's why you're fragile, right? Because you 
you, you're saying I'm threatening people with death, right? That's the cry bully. That's okay. the being a victim, right? Like you're trying to say, oh man, he, oh, I can't okay, believe okay, he Okay, okay, dude, let's just go me. back to the program. I don't care. All it's, right, yeah, it's man. All we'll, we, listen, we can take the conversation wherever you Please. want. I'll jump okay. around. No, I'm, what I'm still waiting you for your answer about the RPE. Please answer my RPE criticism. Okay, I about literally it. answered at the beginning, but I'll answer it again. I'll answer it again. I'll no, you just, again. Talk, you just talked about our AMRAPs. All you did last time was talk about AMRAPs while I was waiting for I you to answer my RPE. at the beginning of the RPE. conversation. No, it right? wasn't, I hadn't said anything at the beginning of the conversation. I hadn't given my cr proper criticism of RPE. I did five minutes ago to your wife, and then she asked you a question, and you pontificated about AMRAPs. Yeah, because she Please, asked about Please, answer RPE. again. Okay, I, I need you to be less bad faith if we're going to have this conversation. I have answered all your questions directly. You have not. I'm being perfectly good faith. Please okay. answer my question now. Okay, what's your direct question? Well, he's asking direct what RPE question? is about beginners and using RPE for beginners. Yes. As I already How said, I will say it again, okay? I will say it again. I don't think it is necessary for a beginner, okay, to be able to super accurately um, uh, figure out their RPE, especially okay, in RPE. I don't care about that. That, that, is, that wasn't my question. Can I ask my question again so we don't loop? Sure. How do you expect a beginner to properly progress in weights and know how much weight to add session to session if they don't understand RPE and you're just giving them reps and RPE numbers? Usually very strange RPE numbers that aren't used in normal training. There's What are the strange RPE numbers? Uh, I have never seen a real program, like a serious program with RPE 5 written into it at any point. Can you please stop pontificating? Okay, as I explained... The RPE Wait, what, five. Hold on, no. You're you're gonna talk to me about being bad faith, and then you ask me a direct question. I answer you directly in a short term. And what does bad said, faith mean? <laughs> what does bad faith mean? Bad faith means you're not engaging in an honest manner, which you are not. So, me asking a question and responding to your question. No, over no, you doing over. your little soy voice randomly is the bad faith part there. Not you no avoiding my questions. Please, though, continue answering my questions. I've already answered your question about RPE5. I don't think it is necessary for the okay, beginner training. Yeah. Defend your RPE5. That's fine. We'll, we'll drop RPE5. It's goofy, but like, whatever. It's what not a big deal. I'm literally do... answering the question. No, my core question is how do you expect a beginner to progress and know how to meet I'm, their I'm, progression I'm... in your program? How is a beginner supposed to know how to progress their weight and difficulty in your program? Because it has a description of how RPE works. He's training with a buddy who is a more advanced lifter. When I gave Darius the program, I gave him a bunch of additional instructions. There's a compass at the bottom that explains how you would initially start to understand how to use RPE, because obviously no lifter knows how to quantify RPE, but you're only going to be able to develop an understanding of an RP of RPE by using RPE. And a really common way for trainers in the industry, I don't know if you are one, but you would know this if you were, is by explaining RPE through RIR, as an example, saying that three tanks, three reps left in the tank at an RPE of seven is approximately where you want to be at, right? The RPE five is not meant to be super specific. It's meant to be like, oh, you know, it's like a five out of 10, like blah, 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 whatever. It's not that hard. It's kind of, it's pretty easy. It's like right in the middle or whatever. That's the purpose okay. of it because I don't want him to overlift, right? And get super okay. sore. Good. I want him to take it pretty easy and adapt to the gym initially. Awesome. Okay. Can I talk now? You kind of ran that. Can I run for a bit? I, I'm really not interested in this mean girl shit. Okay, I'm just, so I'm, over RPE, it. I'm just going to talk about the gym. RPE, you're right. RPE does need to get learned. I, as I said before, it'll get learned whether you're doing an RPE system or not. As my question was before, it's how will a lifter, a new lifter, know how to progress at a difficulty session to session that is appropriate for them? It is not, they, as a new lifter, you will not be able to say, I need to be doing RPE 7, so I should know intrinsically that I have to add 12.5 pounds this session to increase properly. No new lifter is going to do that. If you give an intermediate or advanced lifter a program where it just has RPE and reps written in without a progression system, they're going to not know how the f to do it most of the time. For a beginner lifter who doesn't know that, not having them given set um, weight progressions when they have um, a perceived difficulty level is wild. That's actually one of the wildest things I've ever seen. And if you can't tell as a beginner 
how much weight to add session to session, you're going to just spin your f-ing wheels. You're just going to waste time in the gym because you're going to be either going too heavy and burning out. You're going to be overshooting what you should be doing, or you're going to be massively undershooting doing really easy shit. What I really am saying is you should have a much better way for these lifters who are new and don't, you're right. They do, they should learn RPE, but they don't know yet. And they do not have enough information currently mm. from their understanding of the gym to be able to properly progress in weight and progressive overload if all you give them is RPE numbers and a rep, rep range session to session. Uh, okay, so like as I said before, that's why it initially starts with an RPE of 5 so that you get some acclimation to what you can lift, how easy it is, doing specifically the exercises that will be maintained through the rest of the program. That's going to give somebody a little bit of adaptation. It's not going to work them super hard. They're going to, an idea, going to get an idea of what they lift. And then they're, then they're going to start playing around with RPE right, to figure out exactly how all of the weight feels and to start sussing cool. out how to use RPE as a means by which to progress uh, your training. So you, you okay? So you understand what you, you didn't really answer my point, right? You said at the beginning, I'm going to have a weight so trivially easy that Jesus. they'll be able to progress to a certain yes. point really easily, and then at that point, they're just going to somehow know what the f- to do. That doesn't make sense. That so doesn't answer. The issue I have. All I you've said. done is kick the can this down the road. How- everybody this is how everybody learns to use rpe right you mess around with it you suss it out you say okay i think i had this many left at the tank it's not going to be a 100 percent science it's something that you're going to figure out over time this is how in real life people learn to uh uh figure out load right it's like it's how yeah you're right so i agree they they will figure out rpe but figuring out rpe and figuring out how to to progress knowing what the rpe that they're experiencing is are not the same thing figuring out how to do weight progression and progressive overload when you just have some vague idea of like oh this is how hard i was working last time and this is how many reps i did i wonder how much i should add to the bar next session nobody knows that as a new lifter even oh, if you understand RP and you can say, oh, I had two reps left in the tank you, last time. Are you neglecting you don't know the fact how to do that. that he's mentioned that he's bringing a friend, that he gave him multiple? Do you know the tips that he even gave Darius about how to like figure this out? Do you know what tips Nick gave him? Um, I'm sorry. When you send someone a program, it's supposed to be complete. Am I supposed to read between the lines? I was wait, when Darius hold, asked hold us. Wait, hold no, wait. Let up. me finish. No, when no, Darius no, no, asked no, no, us, no, 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 if this no, is a no, good program, so... we critiqued like this, and Nick came in and he didn't give any of this context. If Nick had been giving this context to Darius, he would have shared it with us then. So not necessarily. Um, yes, because th- that would have agree... disputed our criticism, and we all would have backed off. Really? So, so now that Nick's clarified that this is actually what happened, are you good? Nick hasn't clarified how he tells Darius to progress other than have some other dude figure it out to you. I don't know. That's not that's what all Nick I've said. heard. Nick said that he's got okay. a legend at the bottom of his program. So I'm no noticing uh, wait, a, a compass trend. that points to what an RPE means is not a legend on how to progress. You understand that, right? It's an idiot move where you say, oh, RPE seven is pretty hard. RPE nine is really, really hard. And RPE five oh, is spinning my fucking wheel. Can I just check with insane. you? So when we Wait, first yes, came I'm in, being condescending on, because on, you're not understanding on, the point. Hold on. That's not a good reason to be condescending. It's fine. Um, when you came in, I asked you if you disavowed everything that Rage Pope said. Is that true that you basically think that like the accusations Rage Pope made against Nick were silly and like not, not the accusations um, make? I don't know all the re- accusations Rage Pope made. I wasn't paying enough attention. I think the, so the like, F-slur thing and the, um, what was the other thing? The nudity thing. He were brought kind up of goofy. eugenics. Yeah. Like, did you think that it was a good idea to bring up eugenics or anything? Uh, I Yeah, I think that's goofy. But Okay, it's... so you're lying. There's a post from you from two days ago at 3.30 where you said if you want to do a serious critique, you could bring up that he's positioning himself to be a positive role model, but then when disagreed with, he threatens to kill people, champions eugenics, and then tries to do physique check, and once you find out he's smaller than the person he tried to check, he starts comparing dick sizes. Literally a sensitive middle schooler. You are lying constantly. Rage Pope is okay, lying Okay, wait, no, let me, constantly. can I explain that? No, I'm not done, mother- I've been quiet for like okay. 30 minutes Go straight. For it. You came in here and you've been lying from the very beginning about Nick. Just to be clear, you're kind of starting to Sunday Nick. This is his f-ing livelihood. You lied about the bands. You lied about what was going on in our Discord. You lied about what you told Rage Pope to say. You lied about the eugenics. You clearly thought it was a good idea to bring up the eugenics. You're lying about everything because you're piss mad over a f-ing Discord fight in a fitness section. It's pathetic okay. it's so actually what? pathetic enough 
stop lying. I'll just find more receipts if you keep doing it. You do have that receipt, but you don't understand what that receipt's receipt saying. If you're trying to be a positive role model for men, you shouldn't be a sensitive little piss baby about this stuff. You, it doesn't he, change. He wants that you still lied. You lied to me just now. You said eugenics wasn't something you thought that was a little bit cringe. Your message said to be a positive role model, he shouldn't be doing things like championing eugenics. Your words, your message that was your idea and now you're lying and saying that you thought rage pope was cringe when he brought it up it was your fucking idea and i also don't know how rage pope isn't calling you out on this because you're lying about what you said to rage pope paying to talk about it and as i'm said as i said before i think it's cringe i think it's cringe to be doing that stuff when you try to position yourself as a male role model that is my criticism not that those things are intrinsically a big deal but that there's a massive contradiction Listen, man, Please, you're just, you're just a liar. Uh, just get off the internet. Like, you're a clown. You shouldn't be here. Uh, I don't know who on earth made you think it was okay to just, like, I, I, I had no idea you were just bald-faced lying this hard, right? Uh, maybe just be a better person. Uh, stop being a liar. Oh, yes. Wow, the fight heard around the world. How are you two doing? I'm good, sorry. My audio. So, can I just uh, correct something on the record first, really quick? The record is all yours to be corrected. Perfect. So, Rage Pope asked because he was wanting to farm drama if he should go on. That message that you and I read is correct, it's all real. But what she left out was right before that, I told Rage Pope not to go on and that it would be cringe and no one cares. I said, li what would Jacob talk about was, I was something I was asked. I said, literally nothing. If Rage Pope drama baits and talks Nick, um, there might be something worth doing, but this is nothing. Wow. Okay. I don't know. There's what... literally, I don't care about any of that. I don't give a fuck about any of this. The only thing I criticize Nick for in this type of soy virtue signal stuff is not death threats or anything like that it's him pretending to be some positive male role model youtuber like a positive non-toxic andrew tate to um then be crying about keyboard words it's just it's goofy uh, i drive the right mic on now yeah okay gotcha um okay heard so you weren't virtue signaling uh because you care you were just virtue signaling because is that what you, I'm meant to understand? Um, do, you, do you understand the difference between some, someone being inconsistent and thinking it's kind of goofy for them to be hypocritical <laughs> and so when, to when you uh, say, be upset about the specific words they said and be morally outraged about specific words? So when, do you when think you there's say, a difference between those? So when, when you say... I'm going to ask again. Do you think there's a difference between those two things? So when you say... So I'm going to ask um, one more time. Do you think there's a difference between those two things? Wait, okay, hold on. I Let Nick talk for two seconds. See if he's answering your question. Okay. So <laughs> when, when you say he's trying to position himself as a positive male role model, and then he tells people to kill themselves online, it's like you are making a moral condemnation. It's not just a consistency check, right? Because the cons consistency that you're checking is the quality of me as a person, right? You're saying that I am not capable of declaring myself a positive male role model in this case, because I say mean things online to you. Right. And then you come on stream and you whine about it. And that kind of seems like you're being a crybaby. Well, yeah, it's because you're you're throwing fragile out when you're the one being fragile. I, I don't know how I'm being fragile. Like you guys sh on me for okay, hours, yeah. and I was totally cool with it. You guys banned me, and I was cool with it. I didn't try to appeal I, the ban. I took my legs. I, I came anyone. back in two days. I wasn't. And then on I you. talked to other people. And were. then I, you were. And you cried on your wife stream day. about me. I I yeah. I said your program. Sh you guys were throwing other weird insults like people being short and dick size and stuff. I wasn't involved in any of that. I said your program's bad. You're right. I think and that's then I, okay. And then, so, and then when I said your program's bad, you ran away to go cry in your wife's stream. One of those is fragile, and one of them is a criticism. Okay, so let's shift frame here just a little bit. Did I sure. go to cry on my wife's stream to run away from you? Is that what you're trying to say? No, I, I'm saying you're fragile for going to do that. I don't think you ran away from me. You got banned because you were well, being you fragile. Well, you said ran away. You literally said I ran to my wife's stream, right? So I didn't say you ran away. Like I said you ran saying. to your wife's stream. You got banned and you instantly ran yeah. to your wife's but stream. So running and running away are different things. What did you say 
immediately before that, right? You said that we, you disagreed with me about my program, and then yeah. I ran away to my, or sorry, ran to my wife stream, right? Like I, I'm, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt here to say, okay, you're not intending to say I'm running away. You're just like really in adept at conversation and you don't understand how threading two like clauses together makes it seem like they're connected. Wait, what what do you mean? I'm, I'm I'm threading the clauses together that you did. You you called me fragile and did those, and then you did the threats or the stupid shit. Oh, the I'm threats. Saying, yeah, I did the threats. Yeah. This is the thing, man. What do you mean threats? There was wait, literally you, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's. Threat. We're gonna hold on. We're gonna we're gonna establish on the record. Okay, what are these threats? What are we talking about? He said, "If um, I I said I said on stream that." If we lived in a better time when duels were a thing, I would uh, challenge him, Jacob, and uh, Ironsides uh, to a duels, and I would e to a duel, and I would end their lives in Minecraft. That's the threat. It was a joke. I was I was memeing on stream because I got banned. That's what it was. Okay. Are you? Yeah. Do you feel like no. your life is in danger right now? No, I don't think so at all. I don't think I ever gave that impression. If I did, that's my bad. Okay. It well it gives that impression when you keep repeatedly going, he's threatening people's lives. He ran away and threatened people's okay, lives let's, on I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask someone else. Destiny, did you get the impression when I was talking just now that I was actually concerned for my life? Um, okay, here's the thing that I'm feeling, and my feelings are just my feelings, okay? But when you guys are coming in saying, like, he's saying slurs, he's posting half-naked dicks, he's making threats, this is, like, getting to be a pretty serious rap sheet. That's, like, that's a lot of serious shit. But then when I okay, find out so the slurs are, like, new and the threats are like, I would duel you, and the half-naked pictures are just like physique checks, then it's like, okay, well, this feels significantly stupider than I thought it was, so. But that's listen, just me. Yeah, I didn't absolutely. even, listen, to be clear, I didn't even say new f okay? I said new fill in the blank. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I mean, that feels kind of silly to me. But I, that's just my, that's just my impression. Yeah, that that's all fair. Okay. I, um, but yeah, I don't think I've felt threatened. I just think he's a man baby for getting this upset and running to his wife's stream to cry about it. I, I don't care about any of the other stuff. I just think it's kind okay, of... Okay, so the only issue you have is that he was on Erudite stream talking about an argument that you guys had in Discord. Yeah, that, that I just think he's a fragile guy who's projecting out fragility with as a, an attack. And what, he's what also was... just gives a bunch of bad gym takes. What was the... Yeah, okay. none of which you can substantiate, right? But anyway, what You understand what was, that you still haven't answered my initial question, right? I literally have, like, ten times. I answered it in the hey, wait, original... Actually, let's, let's end this entire stuff. Let's just okay, answer this sure. question. Let's then. talk about it. Okay, let's go. so... As Destiny, a, you're you've moderating, lifter, right? Yeah, I'm just... Yeah. All right, cool. Okay. All right. You've got a brand new lifter, okay. and you give them an RPE and a rep range, and you mm -hmm. they're supposed to try to figure out how to progress in weight and difficulty session to session. How How do you expect them to do that? Uh, are they alone in the gym? Oh, okay, so as a personal trainer, you're expecting their random friend to do your job for you, is what you're telling me. Well, so, okay, I, I, how, is, this a, is this a question? <laughs> okay, yeah, let, let's say they're alone, or let's say they're not alone. What, what do you do if they're not alone? Okay, who are, who are they training with? Who's, who are they not alone with? Are they are they with an intermediate to advanced lifter that knows a they're little bit about Just with another them? lifter. Yeah, they're just with another lifter. Okay, so I'm making them a program. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm, they're asking me how I how they should progress. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would maybe put them on like a double progressive protocol, right? So you're uh, oh, no, increasing... you're, you're defending you're defending this program. I, I want you to defend this one that you have been defending and saying is good. There there's lots of programs that you could bring up. Well, a double progressive protocol isn't a pro program. It just means that you progress reps before weight, and then because that's that's the double okay, progressive but part. That, that's not the program you have. I'm, I'm uh, asking to defend Darius the program. Um, is that okay. difficult and unfair? Uh, I've already defended the program. So, like, what you part of it do you want me to defend? Yeah. Still. Okay, you're asking me how to progress. Okay, it's got RPE. That's a method of progression. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, and, and you want, okay, good laugh. But you understand that giving a new lifter, say, lift at RPE 8 for six months, repeat ad infinitum, ad infinity, is like the stupidest program ever right like you can't just say rpe is progression especially for a new lifter wait but me and me and darius and are an irrelevant are like concurrently talking about the the program like we're like we're in dms uh um, and if darius has any questions he can ask and irrelevant and darius have already both asked me further questions right like i i wasn't gonna build out a whole uh course for darius right i, I made this program for free 
um, and I've explained yeah. and justified everything about it that you have a, you've had a problem with, like the RPE five, oh, okay. how it's not meant to be a super accurate representation of 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 load. It's literally just a oh you know like moderate difficulty. It's not too bad, whatever for for six training days, right? And then after the six training days, we bump RPE generally between the seven, uh, the six and nine range, and then the next uh, uh, spread it goes up again right until generally the seven and seven and nine range which is what you'd see on a standard routine yeah okay so i want to make it very clear at the start you said i'm just giving him a random number so he can kind of just do whatever and, wait um, hold on hold on i'm trying to be wait 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 wait, wait 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 hold on okay. the moderator yeah. i'm trying to understand so we're not saying other things that people didn't say okay now i didn't hear Nick say that I'm going to give him a random number to do whatever. Sounds like he specifically gave him a very low number so that he like, doesn't what? overexert himself. That's what I heard, but I could be wrong. What yeah, I heard was him just say RPE5, which he's not going to know, but it's just kind of do something. Okay. Okay. That's a, uh, I, that's I also a just want to make, sh make sure, okay, we're all aware. I gave Darius this program like for free, right? You keep baking in this, this stuff where you go like, I can't believe people uh, pay you for this. Uh, a, a proper routine should be complete. And I guess complete means like, super detailed explanation that would be more like a course or something like that uh yeah like just so we're all aware it's like i drew this program up for darius specifically because a relevant said to me hey so darius has some kind of weird like a atypical fitness goals he doesn't want to just go into the gym and gets bit get big he wants a very specific physique he wants this like uh e-boy sleeper build with some uh, exaggerated um uh muscles basically right and so i was like okay uh let me think about that i'll build something out so like one of the other pieces of criticism i received is lack of compounds and it's like okay well darius doesn't want to get big darius doesn't care about being strong particularly except for being able to occasionally throw girls around in the bedroom <laughs> and so there's not much in the way of compounds like he's not trying to bench press these bitches, right so I don't, you said Darius has been talking to you about stuff. How's, Darius has been on this program for about a week or so. Uh, has it been a week? I'm not even sure. Let's see. Let's Darius was in it. fitness chat today trying to ask what RPE means. So how have you been helping him if he's not even understanding what's in your program? Uh, well, I'm sorry. You know, a relevant, a relevant tells me what RPE, he does all the talking. I just do the listening. In the Discord. Yeah, 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 I'm in a Discord. So, so I'm not. I don't know what RP means. Still, I thought it, I legit thought you were typing ape on my on my thing, but like I, 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 I didn't get what that meant. But irrelevance just been doing all the translating for me. So, yart. Okay, and um, so what I've also have heard is you you went from thinking you had a good program to saying it's free, so it's bad, and that's okay. Is that correct? Because I hadn't brought in price or anything at this point. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to Nick. I, you, oh, Darius, oh. you're doing your best. If you're showing up at the gym, I think you're doing great, dude. Keep going. Uh, I'm about no, to show so... you right now. I'm about to turn on cam. Ooh, let's go. Physique check. Darius posting physique. Oh, never mind. He's just showing going to the gym. Good stuff, Darius. Rally's here too. Let's go. Good shit. Boys in the gym. Hell yeah. Uh, no, so it, it wasn't. It wasn't that. It wasn't that it's a free routine. So so it. Sh it's that like it's a free routine. So I wasn't gonna draft up like a um like I don't know, like a like a summary sheet uh well, to ex explain like uh, progression modalities outside of RPE. Like I'm trust Darius and uh, Relly to understand how to do that. Broadly. All right, hold on. Listen up. Hold on one second, because my people will sorry the. Right, okay, listen, I'm gonna need cameras here, guys, okay? Oh, okay. I, I can't do a camera right now, I'm on my phone. You cock. Okay. Nick, you're looking as beautiful as always. Thank you, my brother, thank you, my brother. Oh, it's I all shaved. over your I shaved. Okay. Don't let these uh, press you, okay? Yeah, I I don't know, this is stupid drama. Nick said a lot of dumb shit about training and... No, 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 no you know what's stupid? Too, you know what's stupid? When an Give Indian lesbian looking motherfucker talk shit about you. Darius, you I'm gonna get kicked oh out of this God, planet you know for merely yelling at your ugly ass. Okay, stop, Kratos, stop, Kratos, stop, Kratos, stop, 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 you're gonna get in. Stop. Okay, chill. We have a serious lifting debate going on here, okay? I, it's not time for you two to act like fucking apes, actual apes, okay? So, apers. calm it the fuck down. Okay. So, yeah, like, the, the point given was that Darius should be able to understand the program, and it's a good program. And Darius is in here saying, I don't know what the 
this program is. I'm just doing whatever relevant tells me to. Like, I think that's pretty good um, indictment that this is a pretty dog program if the person doing it doesn't know what the f they're doing at all. I, I don't know, this is kind of like a non-point. Uh, Darius thought RPE was ape. Uh, there's a legend at the, at the bottom. Uh, he's a new lifter. Him and Rally are lifting together. I, I literally don't see the issue. I, okay, um, like, I just are are you just saying like I should have done. I needed to do an interview. Here? I needed to do like an interview where we like sit down and talk out every like all of the variables or like I I, I don't know. Wait, well I don't. You said you you said you're talking to him regularly about it, and I feel yeah, like well, him no, not I understanding any of it means that he's you'd you'd realize he doesn't literally understand it if you talk to him even once. I, I mean, just, uh, we're we're in D I said we're in DMs. I, I didn't say we're having like weekly meetings or anything like that. I said okay, we're in DMs. Okay. If he has any questions, uh, he can okay, ask me. Yeah, and, um, uh, and and irrelevant has asked me. A bunch of questions already and we've conferred about the questions and darius has asked me some questions and i've answered the questions like i don't okay, I, if you, um, it's, it's, this sounds like an indictment of darius if anything you're saying darius is like is a, a bum and won't read the program or something like i i don't know i no, like, not literally at all. don't darius isn't responsible for this he's paying he's um if he's he's not paying he's you, paying but I have a, he's paying I, I he's paying he's you literally you were about to say it you started to say it, and then you caught yourself because you're a lying rat bro like okay God, cool. you're such a f***ing cringe lord. Okay, good. Did you get that out of your system now? Okay, so I'm going to say... You literally you, said it, Jacob. You program, said, he's paying you for this. Like, Yeah, you, you're right, and I, I said not. I took it back. Here, I'll, get it out of your system. Say it three more times, and then we can move on. No, no, like, the, the point is to... No, say it three more times. I want to hear it. You're, you're going to bring it up again, so okay. say it three more times. You, you really want to. Go ahead. You said paying, you said paying, you said paying. There you go. So the point okay, is to elucidate. No, right? Oh, no, it's my turn to talk. The, you interrupted the point, me when the I was... Point is, no, I, so, I only said that DGG. at your behest, right? So, yeah, um, okay, so the DGG, point, the point, if you ever get a personal trainer and you get them to write you a program, them pawning it off to have your friend figure this out for you, or don't even follow my program, just do what your friend says, is probably a bad thing. Nick, on the whole, gives a bunch of other insane gym takes. Or yesterday, he said sumo deadlifts are a more dynamic lift than I literally deadlift. didn't say that. I literally didn't say that. I said that <laughs> more that lifters. I said that. No, you're f***ing lying, bro. I didn't say okay, that yeah, sumo no, let's, deadlift let's is both. more dynamic than conventional. I said that more people use a dynamic start from my experience in the sumo deadlift than in the conventional deadlift. Most okay. people pull okay, sumo enough. and most people sum, pull sumo and conventional from a from a static position. Most people pull statically. But when people do pull dynamically off the floor, in my experience, most of them are sumo pullers, not conventional pullers. I, I, I'm willing to have all these conversations with you, Jacob, but I actually need you to stop lying. Wait, can I have a okay. quick can yeah, I ask a quick question? Like that. I, a... I may as interpret that. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Isn't dynamic deadlift kind of an oxymoron? Um, what do you so, mean? well, because deadlift, no, the reason why it's called so a deadlift is because the weight is supposed to start from nothing, no? Oh, so a dynamic yes. What is a dynamic is deadlift? When, so, it's not, it's not, there's no such thing as like a, a dynamic deadlift. There's a dynamic start or a static start for the deadlift. It's basically like, you know, you've probably heard the cues pull the slack and wedge <laughs> in the deadlift, right? Mm hmm. That's general advice for, um, uh, for, for a static start because most people should pull static. But some people like Kaylor Woolham, who's like an insane power lifter guy, uh, uh, will pull dynamically, which is where you kind of set up your slack pull and your wedge together at once, and you more you kind of rip the bar off the ground. Oh, so okay. everything he said there is true, That's but all. his great um, his understanding of the how things generally bear out is wrong. Sumo deadlifters have never done dynamic pulls. I I have yet to see one. Kaylor Whereas Woolham. it's pretty common. Can I Kaylor Kaylor Woolham? Okay. Um, I believe Kaylor Willem, isn't he a pretty common conventional puller as well? Uh, he pulls conventional for his training, but he pulls sumo in meat. Okay, and but dynamic pulling is actually very, very common with a rolling start super heavyweight lifter or other d conventional lifters. It's very, very, very uncommon with um, sumo pullers. Okay, if, if you're I'm saying actually... that all, if you're saying, so Wait. When, when you, when you, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Wait, what? Go ahead. What I'm saying. Oh. Uh, okay, so you're talking like strong, strong men who I doing see. a doing a like a rolling start that kind of squat the bar. Is that is this what you're talking about? Like, uh, um, you not the strong men. Powerlifters do it too. You you can have a rolling bar in powerlifting. The, the big fat powerlifters. Is that is this what you're talking <laughs> yes, about? Yes, super heavyweights. Okay, yeah, th this is a totally different thing. Uh, like 
they do a dynamic start, but in a very different way, right? Like they're leveraging their their body weight against the load. Like I, and th whatever. This is f autistic. This this we don't need to go down. I, you're right. Okay. Let's just agree that your program's kind of weird, and you give a lot of bad gym takes. Okay, uh, benching with long the, arms is not I'll, making more likely to get injured, and wait, that's going to be all for me. Okay. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Here's a rule. Hold on, Jacob. If you want to bring up a bad gym take, we're all about debating bad yeah. gym takes here. That's what we do on the stream. Okay. We but you keep have this to, rolling. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. But you need to like you because you keep like bringing them in as these like little jabs. If you want to argue about a take, then present a take, and then you guys can go back and forth on it. Don't just like bring it Seems in as like little you things. you dislike Nick. But you're trying to use the whole Darius's program is shit to get at Nick. You get what I'm trying to say? I, yeah, um, you're like. kind of right. Nick regularly comes on stream to spew some pretty bad uh, gym takes. Wait, how, wow. much, wait, how much do you weigh, Quiznos? Quiznos, how much do you weigh? <laughs> I weigh more than you, bitch. That's how much I weigh. Don't worry about me, okay? You have monk, you can't answer a simple been, question. Keep talking weigh? shit. Keep showing okay, okay, chill. Don't hijack my okay. conversations on stream. You two are not here to be your do your side show shit, okay? Bro, I saw what he did yesterday on your shit, and you let this slide. Are you clapping his cheeks? Is he the boy that you f on stream? Is he the orbiter that you clapped the nigga? Yes. I don't got no problem with it, but I'm just saying. He is. I, I think he's kind of worried for, like, his position. Don't worry. I'm the top. You're the bottom. Destiny could have both, okay? Yeah, go on, Nick. You were saying something of substance. Um, I think... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I think uh, Jacob was going on his dialogue tree again, where he brings up 17 different things that he hates about me. Uh, he admitted that uh, this is kind of like a, a, a way that he can justify his hating me or whatever, and he hates me because I give stream uh, uh, fitness advice on stream and something. I can't, I can't remember what the other one was. Well, I, I think you give bad advice, so I disagree with it. Is that bad? Well, you, Krantos said it seems like you just hate the guy or whatever, and then uh, you said, yeah, I do kind of just hate the guy, and I hate the guy because he gives bad advice on stream and something else. I was just paraphrasing. I'm, I'm, yeah, okay. Get that word. He's word. a very um, nice guy. He's a fake nice guy, you know, trying to uplift the community, but at the same time, he tells people to kill themselves and use the F-slayer, all that type of stuff. All right, <laughs> so he's basically calling you two-faced hypocrite. The F-slayer, you know? wow. Okay, yeah. Fair. Okay, so that's why that's why uh, Jacob hits, hates me. Cool. We got Down Syndrome Pedro Pascal. Wait, he left the camera. By the way, that irrelevant is sexy as fuck. I didn't know he was that good looking, but damn. He's a good is he looking Sudanese boy. or something? Bro, I saw him take off his shirt. I was like, whoa, hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to dip out. Good chat, boys. Be careful, babe. We love you. Wait, wait. Hold on. Why are you leaving? I thought... <laughs> oh, shit. He left. Nick, you have so many haters. What the fuck? But yeah, I don't know why, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's like... Uh, literally nothing I say is super crazy. Like the craziest thing is genuinely Darius's routine. It's a weird routine. It's a weird routine because Darius has like atypical fitness goals. Um, so I'm not gonna program him some starting strength shit. He doesn't want it, right? And then people go, wait a second, he's a beginner and he's not on starting strength. What the f is this? And it's like, bro, you just don't understand. You just don't understand. 